Hello and welcome to another Xenotic dual commentary. This one's going to be slightly different. Uh, Drainer has asked me to do more of an analysis style one on this. So we've got the analysis of Drainer versus Mirio. I think we know how this one's going to go, but it is good to analyse these sort of plays. Guaranteed to be out of control, I would say. Mirio, an extremely controlling player. Drainer, fairly controlling, but also knows how to push for the most part and this is kind of the key thing that i think we're going to be looking at here from watching drona play previously and what he said about this game we're mostly probably going to be looking at how everything's Five, going with four, pushing three, in and playing two, aggressive and trying four, to get frags on the board so we're going to be starting off with drainer over we're going to be getting that spawn it is kind of difficult this map you do have to play a hell of a lot to know where the spawns were i'd have gone that same way because i would have seen the vortex gone for the vortex so drainer gonna lose the first set of items a nice hiding spot there but mirio going to guess it so that was some good play that was uh well well sat out there now you know you're on the back foot and going to be playing slightly further back i should imagine mirio is going to try and take more control of this game using the teleporters there to get around so if you haven't played this map before uh, the blue teleporter goes to the blue teleporter the orange teleporter goes to the orange teleporter um so this one goes up here the other one goes into that armor room drainer taking a good amount of damage backing out and Good play there, looking in the direction you believe your opponent's going to be coming from. Even if it slows down your movement, looking at your opponent so that you can at least try and do some damage. You might be able to knock them off with a rocket or a grenade and knock them off their aim. Nice steal of that item, watching where Mario was going to come from. Now, the aim doesn't seem to be quite there right now, but that's fine. We won't be looking at aim in this, we'll just be seeing the sort of plays aim will change the way you have to play if you've got much better aim than your opponent you're going to be able to push in in riskier situations keeping your eyes open definitely drainer here keeping his eyes open um and finding where maria is going to come from extremely well played there and now going to be able to take this item could do with learning that jump off the, the little trick off the side there. But it's not too important as the blaster does so little damage. Um, it is useful, but it is very difficult. You've got to train for it quite a bit to actually get it. So it, it's not worth it over certain other things. That was just a general, you died in a fight. Your opponent snuck up on you. You just didn't uh, get the damage out. Respawn frag, potentially areas you could have run away, but not really too much there. Getting caught off guard with that, that's unfortunate, that's just going to rack up frags. That's how Mirio is playing right now, being able to, while you're respawning, get these frags before you're able to get um, any armour and health on the board. So we saw the armours get taken, the armour and the health, and then Drainer went down at the second one at the mega health. So until this armour is up... Drainer has no option to actually take major items. There's a small armour up there. You need to go for that one. It's behind you. Ah, it's not up. Never mind. But you should check it. Uh, unless you knew the timing. I'm not quite sure. I haven't quite kept track of the timings of the items in these games. But it's always useful to just check it. If you can without using the bounce pad. Because it does make quite a lot of noise. Using the blaster in that position could be a good way to try and trick your opponent as well. You could use the blaster to jump up. They could think you're pushing around very quickly. Going for that mid-air, that worked out very well because you didn't touch the platform. That was a very strong move and that's some good damage. And then watching that teleporter, that was very good. That was incredibly good play there. Watching that teleporter and there, prediction, incredibly good prediction here from Drainer. Mirio is actually being put on the back foot because of prediction and there it is you push in at the right time that is the right time to be aggressive right there. Now I think you've got the timing on this and you should be able to grab it. There you are you're just a second too early but that's alright Sometimes it's better to be early especially when you know where your opponent is like where Mirio was Now really trying to 
bully Mirio into this back corner here. He's completely stuck. At some point, you will need to sod off. Mirio actually managed to get around that corner and get that Mega incredibly quickly. So not quite enough pressure, but very good keeping Mirio back. But it is best to try and go for those items. You don't think you had the timing on that one, though. So it is fair to have missed that one. Miss it. You do miss a couple. But it's something to be wary of when you're doing demo reviews. You obviously look for perfection. Don't get too bogged down by the fact that you didn't play perfect. It is a highly stressful situation. I can sit back here and sort of talk about what's going on and be very relaxed in it. Because I don't have to think about the aiming or the positioning or the movement. I'm only thinking about what's actually happening. Not what could be happening. So that was very nice to switch to the correct weapon when you saw Mirio dropping down there. That was very good. We've got five minutes left. Mirio's going to be pushing in over the top, taking down Drainer. But Drainer in the right position there. You were in the right position. Again, lost a fight at a major item. That's fine. It happens. Um, happens against anyone. That was good. You got quite a lot of damage out. And now this is where, it, yeah, there we go. Hiding, trying to not push in too hard. Checking all your angles. Staring at the floor a little bit much for that, but there we go. It's fine. You're in the back. Now move out. Get the hell out. No, get the hell out of there. Would be my recommendation in that position. That could work out well for you, though. Yeah, so in that position where Mirio came through, instead of trying to push back ground, because he could just be sat there with the Vortex out, ready to do a solid 80 damage. Now this is good, using the blaster um, to throw Mirio's aim off. So instead of going for the damage, the shotgun, the more damaging weapon, going for the blaster, you can get some decent damage out of it, especially at the further ranges if you're hitting them. It's 40 if you're hitting... Um, Oh, sorry, it's 20. If you're hitting the shotgun, it can be like four sometimes. So, but, oh, that was good. That was good, but you just got caught off guard there. Something I have noticed, this is not just this game, but in other games uh, for Drainer, you play on the back foot and you go for the item very quickly. Waiting is an option. This is one of the things it took me forever to learn. Uh, I still don't do it very well. Waiting is an option for basically everything. If you've got, if you're stuck in a hole with one way out, one way in, one way out, uh, and your opponent is the other side of that door waiting for you, waiting is an option, just waiting out something. Especially if it's a place that has an item in it. Just wait for the item to come back. Here we're just seeing Mirio kind of push Drainer around the map and control it a little bit. It isn't particularly pushing, but some of these you're right to stay in them and some of them you could push out a little bit earlier. Once you've taken quite a bit of damage, it could be a good option with the score difference right now. Um, this isn't what I'd recommend if the score difference was close. If you took a, a rail or a nex, 80 damage straight away. In this fight, I'd stay in it. Because then you can practice a few different things. Practice playing on the back foot. And you can get that respawn and you can start again. You can have a fresh start. Only in times like this, where you are already losing. There's only two minutes left on the clock. You are going to lose. You might as well get some practice off it. Get some practice off the spawn. Because that's where you lose most of your frags. However, every once in a while you should go for, I'm going to run away, I'm going to try and stack back up. If there's no items up, just keep dying a few times. Reset yourself. Doesn't matter. Try and take the fight. Try and do some damage. Then go back to stack back up when the items are up. But if the score was closer, you definitely want to run away. If you'd just been hit uh, by either an 80 rocket right off the spawn. Nice shots there though. Keeping Mirio pinned up there. You need to be taking the high ground a little bit more. So Mirio's up there. Uh, it's easier to hit when you play with projectiles. So hitting 
down and hitting the floor around your opponent much easier. You don't aim for your opponent, you aim for the floor around your opponent with projectiles. Um, and it, that's what you're doing, obviously. That's what everybody does, because they realise that, you know, almost guaranteed 60 damage for hitting the floor is better than potentially missing your 80 damage most of the time. Good pick up there, Mario managing to get some nice shots in and keep you absolutely pinned in that back corner. Not much you could do about that. It was just aim versus aim. And I think you went both into that with the same sort of stack. So, Mirio should be able to finish this one. She might be able to get a kill here. Nice weapon switching and nice positioning to get out of there and hold him off with that corner. But yeah, that is going to be the end of it. So that was very good play from Mirio. Um, keeping control over the entire map. Drainer was able to get in there. You were able to get in there. And have control over certain points so that's incredibly good against someone so control oriented as mirio and with mirio pushing more for an aggressive playstyle when you pushed in i didn't see too many times where you pushed in super aggressively i think one of the things is when you do push in you never push out you know you go right i've got a mega health i'm going to push my opponent i've taken the mega health i'm going to push my opponent you take quite a bit of damage go down to about 50 health and keep fighting if you can get out if you're only just around the corner you need to push out if you run around a corner your opponent starts spamming you and you're just going to be running into their spam just get the hell out of there unless it's like the last few seconds of the game and it's a do or die one nil difference then you, you know, things change when it's at the end of the game. But if we're talking generally, uh, it's good to play more safe, pull back, take some items, take stock. Remember the small items exist. Remember that you don't have to always push. All these things are very, I can say them. I can't necessarily do them. I get they are very difficult to implement, but demo review is a good way to find these things out and to look at how you're going to play next time and try and implement them one of the hardest things to learn with all of this and one of the most important things to learn is that you have to lose you have to be prepared to lose and forget about the scoreline forget about winning to be able to improve you have to look at one specific aspect of your play and you have to go right today I am going to purely focus on being in the correct position to be able to do damage to a player going for major items. And that means you have to not go and take the major item if it's freeing up and your opponent isn't quite there yet. You have to leave it, get into the position, and that's going to probably make you lose. But it will make you, when you play properly, you'll be able to go, right, I'm out of control, I need to get the item back. That means I need to move around the back. I need to get into a certain position. I need to get to maybe this position we're seeing on screen right now. And then you can get when your opponent's going to come through. And you can either do damage as they're coming through, depending on where they're coming from. Or you can do damage from when they're leaving, exit damage. So it's all playing around that and trying to make sure that you know where your opponent is at most times. And... Losing is fine. Don't worry about the score if you're just trying to improve. When you go into your proper games and you put everything together, you will be better. So that's it. If anybody has any dual demos they'd like me to cast close games or anything they'd like me to do a demo review on, if you thought this was any good, I can try and do either or. Uh, subscribe on here if you want to see more of this stuff. Follow me on Twitch, that's where most of the stuff goes down. That's where the cups are, zonotic.org, to get the game. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you whenever the next one is.